Zebra Herd, and welcome back to Octagon. And today, we're gonna be continuing on with normal mode. Of course, in the last episode, we went back to normal mode to earn up a couple shells, and we got the rooster for the first time. A lot of you have been giving me some really awesome suggestions for hard mode that I'll use soon. A lot of you have been suggesting more chickens and roosters because that splash damage can really help for when we're getting overwhelmed. So I'll try to keep that in mind and try to use a little bit more chickens in hard mode. Usually it's just for me, they don't have enough damage I'll put to keep up with it, but maybe I'm all wrong and chickens will totally change my mind. Cause usually I'm just not a really big fan of this kind of a uh, tentacle, but we haven't used uh, the rooster outside of the, the water yet. So this is sort of our first time doing that. And I haven't played yet today, so I might have to get my, uh, my land legs under me or something. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think that we'll be able to storm through most of uh, normal mode today and it should be just fine and hopefully we'll earn us a couple hundred more shells because that's all I'm looking for. And go ahead and spit out those eggs. But the rooster definitely seems to be a pretty big upgrade comparatively to the chicken and I definitely think that the rooster is something I'll probably try to get a little bit more in hard mode. The problem is it's pretty expensive but there is a quest to get five chickens and we saw with the bees that both the bees and the queen bees count for that. So hopefully both with the chicken and roosters it will count for that one quest because getting the quest done seems to be pretty imperative for getting all the shells especially now that everything is so expensive. Like we might get a thousand shells over, like a thousand, over a thousand shells in this run and we'll only be able to unlock like two things. Like that's how crazy it is at this point. Let's go ahead and just get rid of a bunch of these guys. Get a hundred more coins, it's pretty good. Let us angle ourselves up so that we're damaging this stuff as much as we possibly can, which still really isn't all that difficult. But yeah, we bought our one, two, three, four, five, six tentacle uh, last episode as well. And we haven't really implored a use for it yet, but it'll come soon, I'm sure. Okay, this is getting a little claustrophobic. Thank you, nuclear uh, thing. I seem to play better. Like, I feel like yesterday, I, I recorded the last two episodes yesterday, and I, I definitely thought it was good to stop because I just was not playing well. It was getting on my nerves. Like, the game itself wasn't really getting on my nerves as much as myself. Like, I was, like, disappointed with how bad I was playing. So I'm definitely glad that I stopped for a second, and hopefully we can approach it again and play a little bit. Oh, gosh. Better today. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if I stop talking about me playing bad and actually just focus on playing good, we'll be fine. Still don't know what I want to put on that bottom tentacle. It's sort of a weird spot for it to be, especially, you know, one of the destroying buildings like I am here. Let's go ahead and destroy. Oh, there's three of them. I thought it was only two. Not the case. We get 25 coins. I always thought the silver coins were 50, but apparently they're only 25, and the gold coins are 100 still. I knew about the 100 coins for the golden coins. Okay, so uh, we gotta be careful, but uh, already, uh, I feel like our starfish friend here has been helping us survive a couple hits we would normally get hit from. Oh, there's two on top of each other here, isn't there? All right, lobster claw, and then lobster claw. Didn't even need it, awesome. I was gonna do its thing three times, and we're gonna keep going through. It's a double wave, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy that. Oh, nice, ready, set, boom. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's go ahead and destroy as much as we possibly can here. Um, let's go ahead and let the uh, yeah the thing do that. Oh, it didn't explode those airplanes. I thought it would. Oh, that's a shame. Sometimes the exploding radius doesn't like it's a little suspiciously small compared to other times. Don't really know what to do about it, so I won't do anything. Let's go ahead and let the rooster do some stuff. I mean, the rooster damage just really isn't all that crazy. Let's go ahead and just destroy some of these guys onslaughting me from this side. There we go. I'm just trying to get to the building, guys. Calm down. Normal mode is definitely way more difficult this time around than it was the last time I beat the game. I will say that much. So, I mean, obviously, it seems like that kind of game. I feel like there are other roguelikes and rogue lights like that where the game gets more difficult the, the more you beat it for whatever reason. Um, even though, you know, hard mode is hard as well, but I feel like for hard mode, we need to like totally even just change our strategy on what to do. But uh, let's go ahead and continue forward. And we got ourselves a couple things here. Now I could go for that old chicken strap, but we're actually trying to play well today, right? Or do we, I mean, I guess if we wanna play well, we're playing well to get more shells, but maybe it'd just be smarter to go all chicken? I don't know. Ooh, hard to say. Cause like I have one, two, three, four, five, six tentacles. If I buy two more and add chickens to those as well, I'd have four chickens and I just have to put something over something really quickly. Uh, so we could try it. We could try to live that chicken dream. We could see how far we can make a dent in things here just with this and then save up 5,000 for another tentacle. I mean, we haven't lost a single life, remember, and we have how many hearts, you know? So maybe it's just a chicken strat we need to do. <laughs> okay. Um. 
But yeah, let us keep moving. Because if I can get that quest done, it'll be like 30 or 40, uh, uh, what's it called? 30 or 40 shells, which is pretty useful. That's quite a lot. I mean, I feel like those things are always more per possible in Endless Ocean, but honestly, the more I try Endless Ocean, it doesn't feel like anything's possible in that game mode. So, um, I don't know. There we go, there we go. Nice, those nuclear things are gonna explode on themselves. Okay, don't do it. Oh, the lobster claw, well-timed. Probably should've just angled my King Cobra towards that. Also, if we could get a Black Mamba today, that'd be very cool, but it's gonna be very tough to afford all of those things, you know? Um, but yeah, it's, it's just hard. I wish I had more coins I could earn up here. Let's go ahead and damage you up, move back this way. These little itty bitty birds, uh, the golden ones, piranha birds, piranha birds, I'm gonna call them, are the most difficult thing right now. Okay, got it. I almost got hit by that and it would have been totally unnecessary. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of you. Maybe I've died once, I can't remember. I don't think I have though. Okay, we got some extra health coming in. Awesome, that was good. Worth my time, worth my effort. Uh, the starfish is back up. I've tried to memorize the sound it makes when the starfish is available again. Let's go ahead and boom, boom, double egg, nice. Honestly, it's been nice how many eggs there's been flying around. Maybe it's just one of those things where it's like having one chicken isn't that effective, but having a bunch of chickens is pretty gosh darn decent. And maybe that's where I've gone wrong. Because having a lot of like eggs just coming around and just helping me out with some of the smaller guys, maybe that's just what I've needed. And then have the King Cobra focus on what's like really important. I feel like it'd be hard to get to this point in hard mode, obviously. It's just like, that's sort of the hard part. <laughs> what do you know? Let's go ahead and roll that over, not get electrocuted by it. Look at how many eggs are just being spat out just by I guess technically three chickens, or the equivalent of a rooster and a chicken, you know? It's like quite a lot. What if I had a couple more here? Maybe that'd be good. Okay, got that. A huge wave of enemies are approaching, but I think we can handle it. Because if things get nasty, we do still have our starfish. Let's go ahead for now. And we haven't ran into a cloaked enemy in the longest time for the angler. It's funny. But at the same time, I know the opportunity will pop up again where he will be useful, so I'm not really too worried about it. There we go, I thought that was a good timing with it. I'll just focus on destroying this building for a little bit. And we got it, no problem. That was actually quite easy. I don't think we got hit a single time that level. We got a couple hundred coins, nothing crazy with the coin department. But we got a couple more shells. I mean, we have at least 500 for the starting cash, and the starting cash seems to be like the most important thing. Mmm, chicken strategy is actually coming into play here. But if I buy a chicken now, what am I putting it over is a problem. I mean, what do we have coming up? Nothing invisible, so I could put it over the angler for now. And then I just need to save up 5,000 for another tentacle and another chicken. People are gonna be so mad at me. But if we could get that quest done, especially since we already hit our 500 shell goal, that'd be pretty good. All right, we got this like weird chicken combo. All right. uh. But luckily we'll just see more damage output from this. Since there was no uh, cloaked enemies, we shouldn't be doing any worse against any enemies. So that'll be good. So let's go ahead and actually, yeah, that got a little surrounded there, but I got 10 shells out of it, nice. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and angle ourselves just like that. It does stink that with how the angling I have things, I'm gonna end up having most of our chickens not facing anywhere. But that's okay, we'll make it work. Let's go ahead and shoot out some eggs. More importantly, I just need the King Cobra to do his thing. I wish sort of there was a gap, like an extra snake between the King Cobra and the Black Mamba. Just because I feel like it's such a big jump, you know? To make it all the way to 8,000 just for one tentacle is just crazy. Let's go ahead and turn around and deal with these guys. Yep, that was actually much more worth it. I know this little piranha bird is gonna come in and try to hone in on me. Okay, okay, a little too close for comfort if you ask me. Come on, come on, there's Master Wu. Awesome, perfect timing, I knew it was gonna pop up soon. Okay, so we're at 4,000 coins now. I need 5,000 for, you know what, the extra tentacle. So I'm definitely gonna need that before I get anything else. Hmm. Got it, got it. Turn back around, got you. But if we could find a way to fit two more chickens in here, that'd be great. Like if I can get a new tentacle, that'd be an extra chicken. Maybe I could play like one over the lobster and then just put the lobster back on it or maybe the T-Rex if that opportunity arises again because we did have the T-Rex there. Uh, let's go ahead and try to destroy you. Nice. We got some coins out of that. That was 100 coins, so 4675. We could get 325 more, we're good for 5K. Stompatron X. Now, I feel like with enough just paying attention and forethought, this boss will be quite easy. 
and that we've handled him pretty decently in the past. Okay, um, I'm also trying to time this better. Okay, yeah, roll this way. And like, I could use Master Wu here, but I don't think he's gonna do much damage, and there's going to be enemies popping up soon. Um, well, maybe not soon, but... All right, let's snip like that, and then snip, oh, and then snip. Oh, I don't know if that's actually working. Oh, it is, cool, nice little strategy right there. Snip, he isn't starting to charge up yet, so I'm not gonna leave. Even though he is sort of closing the gap a little bit, that might hurt. Oh, that hurt, but that's okay, I did damage him a little bit. Okay, I think, um, plane should be coming in in a moment, so we have to be careful about that. Snip him, and then snip him, and then don't leave just yet. Soon, but not yet. And then he's gonna start charging. He is, I might get hit here too. Oh, I might get like super hit. Oh, that really hurt. <laughs> okay, Bastard will get in there. He's almost taken out. I didn't take a lot of unnecessary damage there. Oh man, it gets, it gets really, complicated with the rockets. Anyways, just try to angle this up correctly. Like also just like not awfully. There we go, we got him, not a problem. Okay, so what do we get there? 500 coins is okay. I feel like I lost coins there. No, I guess it was at 46.75. Um, but we're not quite done. I forgot, we gotta keep moving. Let us keep moving and boom, go for this. And let's see what we can do about it. Maybe I could get some uh, eggs out this way. That might be helpful. There we go, see, it took care of a couple of those. And then bees really help with this. But yeah, a lot of you were letting me know some interesting facts and like maybe things like strategies you guys might think work for hard mode and stuff. Uh, a good suggestion I got from somebody was that um, maybe not as much bees, just because in hard mode there are clusters of enemies and just the fire rate of the bees just isn't enough to keep up with that. I think that's actually definitely a good idea. Oh, that was a good timing for that. I had a couple shells out of it. Oh, I've never seen a golden shell in this. That is so awesome. Oh, I love that. Cool, I wonder if we can find one of the blue things. That'd be fun. That'd be so exciting. Man, this game just has like that little charm to it. It has that same PVZ thing to it that makes it so addicting just to get like, oh, you got the shiny thing, yay! <laughs> I love it. I love getting shiny things in games. But yeah, these mini games have been a huge help for getting shells. But I feel like sometimes they get a little short. Okay, let's go ahead and get these five. Five or six there. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And let's go and get these five. I'm definitely feeling better about the game today. Like I feel like I'm playing better. I'm more aware. I'm more awake. Okay. <laughs> Every time I've talked about being like okay at the game is the times I've gotten hit. So I just need to not do that. I just find it funny. <laughs> okay, come on, dodge, 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 got it. Is that it? I think we're gonna get the, to the final stretch here. Oh, can I dodge it? I can't, I can't. Oh boy. Man, that electrocution lasts a long time. Missed it on two shells. Not good. Okay, I made it. Oh, here we go. Nice. All right, that was fine. Got that as well. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blow you up because I want those shells, you can't take them from me. And then just a simple little dodging game and we got it. Already at the 656 and we'll get a couple more from this. Very cool. I'm sure we'll get whatever amount we get. Okay, Um. so my best bet I think then is to buy the, the extra tentacle. Where would I wanna put it? I would say, I wish it would push this rooster to the left but it just doesn't work that way, does it? Hmm. Well, this is sort of the same effect, because I want the lobster call to be on the bottom right when I'm attacking and building, so we'll do it like that. And I think we'll just leave it. Oh, uh, we do have some stuff. Nothing I can do about it. Oh, well. Luckily, it's pretty easy to handle underwater, comparatively. So let's try it out. Like, yeah, this is much easier to handle underwater is the cloak stuff, because it's just, it's one thing, it's only the tiny ships that were cloaked. So as long as I focus on those first and foremost, and sort of let the rest happen organically, I think we'll be okay. And once again, keep in mind, I don't think we've lost any lives. And if we do, we come back with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hearts. Crazy stuff. Look at how many eggs just get thrown around at this point, though. Oh, and there's an extra heart, speaking of which. The bee is gonna be helpful for dealing with everybody else that isn't cloaked. So yeah, we'll see how this ends up working out. 
This might have been where it can be good, good to be having a Firefly. It depends, of course, I, I'm i starting to think also that there's, are there really any good or bad tentacles? Oof. Um, maybe not. I mean, maybe there are some tentacles that are just arguably worse than others. Obviously, like the rooster is gonna be better, better than the chicken, but he also costs more. But beyond that, um, I think that a lot of these tentacles aren't that, like I shouldn't avoid any specific one altogether. I should avoid them if it's not the situation. These tentacles are situational, just like items in Binding of Isaac. Um, a lot of those items are just situational, not that they're bad or good. Okay, Binding of Isaac, there are definitely some, a fair share of bad items, but I think also, <laughs> you know, it's also sometimes, it's all situational. Huge wave enemies is approaching. We'll just deal with it any way we can. Yeah, things might be a little bit tough if I'm trying this five chicken strat, but I think it'll be okay. Oh boy, oh boy, got it, got it. Let's try to get you. Got it, got it. And then, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we got rid of all the cloak stuff so we can just focus this stuff down. And that worked out pretty well. We had like no coins before, and now we have over 2,000. So we made a decent chunk of cash. Only problem is, of course, we took a good chunk of damage. But we have three lives. I think we find, yes, another rooster. Okay, let's get the rooster on there, and we can just barely afford it. So we're either gonna have to play over something here to afford the next rooster. This is a problem, by the way. Probably should have bought the firefly. Oh, well, it's fine. Even if we die, even if we die, it's okay. Because I got this rooster strat. That's gonna be great. Like, I really, I'm, I'm not sort of like holding on to the edge of my seat trying to win this round. I'm just trying to make a dent in our progress. Get all these quests done, all that kind of stuff. Okay, got it. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. I didn't even see which one hit me there. That was a little wild, I gotta be honest. Like, this would be so easy with the angler. Okay, oh my gosh. The game knew. The game knew I didn't have any protection from this, and it's punishing me hard. There we go. Oh wow, I can't believe I survived that, actually. Let me go ahead and try to get, yep, there we go. I'm too quick for you, too quick. Oh, and he got a little extra bit of health there too. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem. Ooh. Got it, got it, okay. Try to get Yoon, just like that, and then try to get Yoon. Luckily we have damage coming out from like every angle, which is pretty helpful. Oh, will I get hit? I will not, somehow I did not get hit there. Look at the onslaught of eggs we have. <laughs> or just a chicken machine. At this point, it'd be funny if we just turned everything into chicken eggs. I'm gonna save the ridiculous challenge runs for later, though. Those kind of themed runs sound like they could be full, cool, but now we can bring the hashtag zebra challenge from the Garden War for Two series here to Octageddon. That sounds fun. Okay, I got you. Oh, that might hurt me. It almost did. We gotta, oh boy. The last thing I needed to hear were the words double wave. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go, holy cow. Oh my gosh, it just won't stop. It won't stop, they're everywhere, they're everywhere, they're everywhere, they're monsters, I tell you, they're monsters. Oh my gosh, how did we do that? <laughs> how did we manage that? That was insane, I love it. Man. I mean, we can still get hit here, we have three health though. Like even if we get hit, we're okay. We're not, it's not game over. It's really the little guys I'm worried about now. Okay, the eggs are everywhere, wow! We didn't, okay, we did get hit that level, right? But how did we not get hit during the double wave? Like, I don't, I don't know. All right, well, let's continue. Ooh, oh, we got the rooster! Mmm. Okay, here we go, this is the strategy I was talking about, but I can't quite afford it, which would be rooster over claw, and then lobster over rooster. Ah, <sighs> okay, then what would I replace here? I need all of it is the problem. Like, you know, like you might think like, oh, just put it over the chicken, but that'd be a problem, because then I don't have five of them, I have four. Right now I only have four. So I guess my best bet is to do, well, let me actually, can I check the main menu? I might be able to, like if I if I go done, I can go back and then it's gonna bring me to the level. I can go to the main menu and any progress you started this level won't be saved, good. And then we can go to our medals and I got it. Okay, give me those now <laughs> before it like, takes it away. Like, hold on, hold on. 
<laughs> I love it. Look at all these. It's amazing. Um, and then should I put the crab claw? I mean, if I want to put the crab claw anywhere, I mean, I want to put it here for its good positioning, but really I want to put it over Yoon. I mean, the crab claw is a $75 tentacle. I'm probably going to die here, but I'll be able to revive. I have three, re I got three lives, so I'm fine. This is gonna be a boss level two, so my only focus here is gonna get a couple coins and then just hope that I'm not irrevocably destroyed my run for uh, when I revive if I die, because I might die. See, like that kind of stuff might happen. Look at all the coins we just got. Already back up to 475. We can get up to 600 and get a firefly, we're fine. <laughs> so many chickens. <laughs> so many chickens and roosters and all that kind of stuff. I love it. The chicken strat is great. I'm glad we got that. Even if we fail this run, we got that, which gave us 30 extra shells, which is pretty good. And we're still getting shells. We're still doing fine. And there's eggs everywhere. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, uh, let's do what we can. Ow, I totally got lost there. There's this, oh wow, there's shots being shot at me. There we go. Okay, you ready for the egg onslaught, dude? I don't think you are. Because we're just gonna go ahead and hit you over and over again with the cobra, the king cobra, and then let the chickens just sort of happily hit you whenever they have the opportunity. We'll do Master Wu, because it seems to help. I already got him through a phase. Oh, I didn't even see it! I didn't even see it, because there's too many eggs. Okay, so we finally died. Uh, of course I'll do this. Oh, but I could do the snapping turtle. Box bullets bites enemies. I need to try this too, because that's another mission. Let's try this. I'll put it, where would be the best place to put it? Honestly, I still think, here, over that chicken. <laughs> I might be ruining my run, and I hope nobody's too mad about it, but we're getting quests done, which is sometimes a better opportunity than beating the, the normal mode that we've already beaten, you know? But now we have so much health, we can make a lot of stupid decisions, so. Okay, so, snapping turtle, snapping turtle. Oh, I like how he gets in the shield mode when there's one heading this way. That's really interesting. I gotta, that's my big indicator if there's a bullet because it's actually harder to look for the bullet. Oh, I should've let that dude shoot. <laughs> um, Because of the fact that, what's it called? There's just too much on the screen with the eggs. Okay, so this might hurt, but if I just, yep, I'm smart about it, I should be fine. Go ahead and get rid of you. King Cobra's just going crazy though. I can't wait to see how fast the Black Mamba shoots So That's gonna be fun. Okay, so shoot that. Oh, he's not in shield mode just yet. It seems to be only when things get close. Yep, it's only when things get close. Okay, oh wow. How did he not, how did, did he also block off that, that submarine? Because it's so interesting. Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> we did okay. We only took one hit and then we also lost our snail. So he's just gonna run into all the eggs because he's moving faster than we're rotating. So all these eggs, like, it's just extra damage. Wow, this is a, the rooster strat really works. Like, I'm surprised. Like, as somebody who's usually not a big fan of it. Boom, because we need to hit these for a quest. I think we need to, like, deflect 50 of them, so we're a long way off. But, uh, I mean, I couldn't let this boss just take a long time. Okay, um, why aren't these guys popping up? They're, like, super close and they're not popping up. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, oh boy. They just like won't pop up until they're like right in front of you. It's really weird. I mean, he's still just taking damage from the, invertly from the roosters. It's so bizarre. Come on, come on, got it. He's just shooting these little guys too. He's not even shooting bullets anymore. Oh yeah, that's right, now he's going into buzzsaw mode. Not too much I can do about this except for just try to survive it. And dodge, oh I mean I can dodge him but I might be able just to survive for long enough that I can just, yep, knock him down. Okay, so, <laughs> that was awesome. We got ourselves a couple hundred more coins. We survived only taking two hits. We didn't take a single hit that boss, which was pretty cool. 740 shells, and we are on the land of, uh, what's it called? You know. So I could do angler or firefly at this point. I think it'd just be easier to do angler. I don't know if there's people who disagree with me on that front, It'd be great if I could save up 10,000 coins. And while it is fun to have so many roosters, I don't know if I'm gonna need that many. I might eventually replace some. I don't know what some of our other quests are. Maybe I should take a look at those before we continue too much farther. Like, let me pause. Let's go to the main menu. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Um, go to our medals. What else do we have here? 
Saw Shark Master, if I have four Saw Sharks equipped at once, I don't even, we don't even have an, we haven't even unlocked the Saw Shark. Octagenin then have eight limbs on Octagen. We've done that in the past, but we gotta do it when the medals are actually available. Puff Batty use Spike's Puffer Attack to kill 10 enemies at once, we haven't had Spike. Turtle Power, block a total of 25 shots using Turtle Shots. We've done five out of the 25 we need. So one fifth of the way there. The hard way beat hard mode endless ocean master. So there really aren't too many medals, as you can see. Um, let us continue. See what else we can get done. Hmm. Yeah, we can continue. I don't want to spend any of my cash. If we could just get Octaget in it, if we could just get 10,000 coins and buy that, that'd be pretty nice. I don't know if that'll be possible, but maybe if we just don't spend anything for the rest of this run, like maybe we'd be fine. Do do do. But also, oh, I was hoping I could actually block him off. There we go, turtle shell, turtle shell, turtle shell. Ready, set, blocked. Haha, <laughs> okay, that's six. Here is seven. We're gonna have the um, rooster get rid of this dude a little bit. There we go. But maybe, maybe the snapping turtle and roosters are like my saving grace of What's it called? Oh my gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> well, that was a lot more than I was expecting over here. That's gonna be a cool explosion in a moment. Look at that. They're all exploding. But um, maybe turtle shells and roosters will be my main strat for hard mode. Maybe I'm just looking at things at a wrong angle. You guys have definitely been enlightening me to that. Oh man, I love this song. Doo -doo -doo. All right, can you shoot your little thing? Thank you, sir. But maybe I just need that snapping turtle, you know? It definitely came to a surprise how much the bullets were bothering me in the hard mode. I thought it would just be simply easier to just dodge them, but maybe not. Okay, so these guys are gonna explode. Got one more shell out of that, a couple hundred more coins. We're already at 2K. If we can continue at this rate and just like not spend anything for the rest of Paris, I thought, did I say we were on Tokyo earlier? Because I was wrong. Um, if we can not spend anything throughout the rest of Paris, we're fine. But also, wow, we're at Paris already. Paris, France. Okay, I can't even hit this if I tried. <laughs> I was like trying to angle up there to see if I couldn't get it, but I can't. But yeah, at this rate, we could definitely make our way through Paris and get it. Okay, here we go, this'll be good. The bees are going a little too crazy with blocking the air, taking care of the shot shooters. <laughs> Two more. It makes the same noise. Oh my gosh. Here, listen to this, listen to this. It makes like the same noise as a bucket head being hit in PVZ. It makes a very similar noise, at the least. Maybe not the same exact noise, but it's very similar. Um, and that's sort of the thing I really, really like about this game, is it brings me back. Like, it's so thematically similar in its little quirks to uh, PVZ. There we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of I mean, that was maybe a little bit too much for what was just a couple of enemies. Now I'm gonna need Master we watch. Okay, these guys are gonna explode. Yeah, we're already at 3,500 coins. We're at like 1,200 going into this level, so fantastic progress. If we just don't spend anything, well, we can get that eighth tentacle. Soon enough, we can get the upgrade that allows us to get nine. Wonder how much the ninth tentacle will be. Cause like, it's hard to earn up 10,000 coins in this game. Like, I, don't, I really don't know. Like, it'd be weird. Okay, it would be cool if after we beat all these missions, more missions unlock. I am a little bummed out about how few missions there are. I would sort of, I was sort of hoping there would be more. Um, Cause I mean, some of them are really tough, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, just compared to like PVZ, and I think even uh, the San Aquarium, there was like sort of more beef to it, but that's okay. I mean, right now, like I feel like this game isn't as beefy as those two games in some ways, but at the same time, it features really, really solid content in its stead. Like, the, the content you do get out of Octageddon is so much fun. So it's like, it doesn't really matter that there's not a huge, gigantic ton of it. But of course, I wish there was because I'm having so much fun. All right, 750 shells now. And, okay. So we could get Spike. Oh, that is tempting. But I think we just need to save the 10,000. Let's not sort of get scatterbrained with that. Okay. Also, the second we buy the Angler, there's no more uh, hidden stuff. <laughs> always, always. Look at that mime, he's doing a little bicycle ride. I love that. All right, well, I needed to let that guy fire a shot. But now that I'm just like actively trying to pay attention to these bullets and using the snapping turtle, it really isn't that bad to do this. I thought it would be a pain in the butt, 
It would have been a pain in the butt if it was the turtle shell, but the snapping turtle is really nice because he also takes up the spot of a crab sh crab claw or lobster claw. I don't know how much damage he does. He probably doesn't do as much damage as the lobster. Um, but it's still nice, you know? Okay. Um, so let's let you shoot that shot and then I'm gonna, oh. <laughs> I sort of had to like move into it to hit it. It's funny. Got it. Okay, so let's just try to break 5,000 this round and break 10,000 by the end of everything and we'll be fine, we'll, everything will be great, I'll be happy. Okay, 751 shells there. And then I definitely wanna hit that, but I don't think I need to use Master Wu for it. I was like, oh, should I? I don't need to, look at that, easy. And the only reason I'm sort of using Master Wu on a level like this is just to get more enemies out quicker because they just sort of overwhelm you. And sometimes like the level finishes before they take out all the enemies. So hopefully I can like take care of more of them. Oh, this guy's gonna shoot his blast. Let's see if I can't. Oh, there's a couple blasts here. Okay, so let's see if we can't hit like 15. I mean, we're probably getting pretty close to 15 shots bounced. I mean, 25 is actually starting to look easier to deal with. I gotta be careful for that dude. There were a couple shots that actually could have hit me. Hmm. All right then, everybody. Rooster it up. Well, that guy, he will not destroy. Well, that's weird. I was hoping he would destroy the uh, this thing right here. He exploded right on it. Somehow I didn't even hit it there. It's invulns inv invincible, invulnerable. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? There we go, that was good. Okay, roll through while well, I have the chance. Let you shoot what you need to shoot, please. Ah, you won't, okay. All right, it's a double wave. This is probably one where I wanna use Master Wu, but I'm definitely gonna try to reflect some shots first. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is so perfect. Um, let me try to reflect that one. And this one, I can't actually reflect all of these. I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> okay, awesome. This is actually a really cool strategy and totally different than my winning strategy for last time. So this is a lot of fun. And that's sort of where the big replayability of the game comes in, is not like the active achievements or goals to complete, but the fact that you can beat the game in such different ways is always fun. I mean, that's what kept me playing Binding of Isaac much after I beat everything in it and got everything is because it's just you can play and get totally different combinations you never would have thought about getting and would, you know just love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that, get that, and then get this. We gotta be getting really close to this. I definitely wanna check after this level how close we are. I might have to use Master Wu here. <laughs> I, I didn't want to, but I sort of had to. Okay, let's roll through like that. Are you, you're not gonna be able to get another shot out. Let's squish this semi truck, and it looks like we're good to finish off this level. I mean, hey, if I could get another you know, shot deflected here, that'd be great. Let's see, got it, cool, cool, cool. Things are getting a little bit close quartered here, so I might just have to go ahead and finish the level. But I got a couple more in there. I think we got this. I think we actually are gonna get this achievement done. That is awesome, I wasn't expecting this one to get done. So, we get ourselves a couple more shells there, and when it comes to upgrades, we're not gonna buy anything because we have 6,100, and we wanna spend all of that towards, of course, the thing. So before we continue, you know what, I'll check it later. Uh, we have enough time for one more uh, around this episode, and it's gonna be, of course, against this mime, so let's do it. Okay, we're making it, good, good, good. It's good that like each level only takes like a couple minutes, that's always fine. I thought it was gonna be 50 shots with the shell, but it's only 25. Like, I thought I read that it was 50, but I guess I got it mixed up with the the endless ocean rounds that we have to make. Do, do. Okay, I got the music. I wanna sing the music. Oh, there's a creepy mime in the corner. Oh, I don't like that. I didn't, didn't even see that. I got distracted. Okay, no distractions. Play well, play well. There we go, we got rid of a lot of stuff there. I'm gonna boom, get you. This guy is like a super arching shot, so it's actually hard to deflect that. Let's just go ahead and destroy you. Maybe that'd be a better idea. Snapping turtle, so good though, I love him. Like the first time I tried him, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. He is so good, I underestimated him. I mean, I think the last time I tried him, like I really didn't have the opportunities I have here. Oh, they don't shoot normal shots. They shoot like little beams. I wasn't aware of that. I don't think I've ever let them shoot like that before. Oh, that was weird. I thought it was gonna shoot a sh like a normal shot that I could deflect with the turtle shell downward. It went right through me. Okay, no taken. I feel like I've hit 25 by now. Um, I'll check later, but I don't wanna stress about it too much. <laughs> it would also really stink though if it's actually only 24, you know? So it's like, that's what I'm so, sort of worried about. Wow, they take a beating too. 
I gotta pay attention, because those things, I, I hit them a couple times with a King Cobra there. All right, Gigantomime is approaching. I just used Master Will, why is he up again? Okay, I'll take it, but maybe he gets refreshed right at the boss. Okay, so right here is gonna be good. You can just hit him a lot. And then as soon as he decides to do anything, if ever. Uh, oh, he's angry now. It's so funny, this boss does like a whole lot of nothing for a while. All right, I gotta be careful about the cloak stuff, but that's why I have the angler. Okay, there we go. Those missiles are falling down. Oh yeah, it's these things, they don't try to squish us between the baguette. Let's go ahead and destroy these, if I can. Oh boy, here we go, and he's trying to, he's trying to convince me to come on over. I should have taken the bait <laughs> while I had the chance. I just gotta be careful, because like I have all the time in the world to beat him up. I just need to go ahead and, uh, what's it called? Be careful of, oh, stinkers like him. The baguette, because that's gonna pop up soon. Ah, I got hit by that. Come on, what is wrong with me? Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. I'm the worst ever of all time. This is getting a little awkward. Uh, reveal a couple of those dudes. Keep revealing them, because once I reveal them, they can very easily get got by the, just the, the stray eggs. Oh, I'm gonna get hit, I'm not, aren't I? Oh no, okay, it's actually a little bit shorter than I was expecting there. So I need to get closer to him. It's actually really hard to break break over to him. But maybe if I just focused on damage him, damaging him and just didn't care about the baguette, the baguette's gonna hit me. It's just sort of a matter of fact, I think. Maybe I can like hide right there. Doesn't matter, it took him out. <laughs> okay, awesome, we win. So we get 500 coins for that. Definitely the amount of coins you get is random per boss. Or like maybe it's dependent on your performance. I really don't know. Or maybe your time. Because I swear like I should be getting more than that, sometimes, like sometimes I get a thousand coins. There was a run earlier where we got a hundred coins from a boss. So like earlier, like it's weird, I, I don't understand. I'll we'll just go ahead and take care of this. We didn't quite hit 10,000 coins, but we are certainly getting very close. And there we go, we did it. I just took a sip from my very hot tea. And yeah. Here we go, five more shells, awesome, awesome. Let us continue, so what are our options here? Okay, that's right, we have to do this little Master Wu mini game, I love it. Okay, so let's see how many shells we can get from this. We had 774 to start this off, so if I can keep that in mind, I wanna see how many shells we can get from one mini game. So far we've gotten five, now we're gonna jump to 10. Do, 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 that would have been more right there, but okay, I'm the worst ever at video games, by the way. Whoa, 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 I was like going left right there when I was holding left, that was weird. Okay, well, if I was actually decent at video games, maybe we could get more shells, but I mean, I've already gotten 19 of them. And this will be 24, very good. I love this song so much. Oh, oh, the doubles, oh, look at that, that was cool. I like it. Move back over here. Nice. Oh gosh, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm getting electrocuted. It's for the shells, I need to. Wait, okay, got him, got him, got him. I oh, wanna get five more. I'm not gonna be getting those, ow. Don't get double electrocuted. Oh, that's no good. Looks like it doesn't stack, luckily. Oh, I definitely need to go over here. That didn't do anything for me. <laughs> oh wow. I think we're getting close to the end here soon enough. Two more, ooh. Five more, three more, yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Okay, just two more there. You just have to be lucky with where they're landing sometimes. I get lucky with the generation and get like one on top of the other to get 10 more. That's cool. Oh, stink. That was not good. Okay, here we go, here's five. That's 847. Okay, we have our special move if we need it. Oh no, oh I only got two of those. Okay, you guys gotta leave me alone. Three missiles is just too much. Oh, it is moving real quick this time, it's crazy. Oh my gosh, come on, come on. Ready, whoop. And then get these, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, something like that. It's almost 100, yeah. 
80, not 90, but 88 shells right there. And then we get a couple more. Okay, we got 98 shells out of that, that's crazy. Okay, so, oh boy. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready to make this decision. I think we're gonna make it in the next episode of Octageddon. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Chicken so I know you've watched to the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.